Good morning everyone. I am Devi from Little Hearts Publications. Today I am going to deal class science, fourth class science, topic parts of a plant food production. Okay, parts of a plant, lesson one, parts of a plant food production. food production okay food production okay so in today's class we are going to discuss what are the parts of a flowering plant what are the parts functions of a root uh, and what does a shoot system consists of and also how leaves prepare their food okay Let's come to the point now and there are some plants which do not bear flowers. Okay. And we'll discuss a topic now uh, regarding the root system. Root system. Okay. So, the part that grows below the ground or under the ground is called as a root and the system which is which is dealing with the root is called as root system and there are two types of roots first one is tap root and the other one is fibrous root fibrous root okay so what is a tap root and what is a fibrous root? Here, tap root. Okay, so look at this root, picture of this root children. So, when you look at this, this root has one main root, okay, which starts from the stem here, under the ground, okay. This is called as main root, okay. This is called as main root, okay. And this main root has some small roots which are starting from this main root. So, what are the examples of a tap root? We will write here. Okay. Examples of tap root. Think of uh, some roots which have this long and one main root. For example, if you take carrot, carrot, radish and some other plants like cotton plant, Okay, and these type, these are the examples of the roots, the plants which have tap root. Yes. Now we'll come to the next uh, type of root that is fibrous root. So how is a fibrous root? Yes. Look at this type of root. How is this root? All the roots starts from a main point or one point. Okay. Starts at one point. So, there is no main root. All the roots start from the same point. So, what are the examples of fibrous root? Okay. If you take some examples like onion, Maize, jar. Okay, these are few examples of the plants which have fibrous roots. So, what is the difference between these 
two roads type of roads see this road has one main road and some small roads but this fibrous road has all roads in the same kind and they start from at one point okay and now we'll learn what are the functions of root okay so we are going to learn about functions of root okay before going to that we will learn that what are the two main parts of a plant now if you take a plant what are the two main parts of a plant a root the part which is under the ground is called as root and the part above the ground is called as shoot this is under the ground under the ground and the shoot is the part which is seen above the above the ground above the ground now i'll show you a picture let's discuss by looking at this okay look at this picture children yes so this is soil and this part this is the soil and the part which is below the soil is called as root and the part above the soil is called as shoot so what are the parts which are above the soil means what parts come under the shoot system yes so you can see a stem here leaves yes fruits flowers okay these all parts come under this shoot system and if you see at uh, if you look at this uh, root system this root is of which type is it fibrous root or tap root it is tap root how can you identify it as tap root because it has one main root it has one main root okay now let's discuss about the functions of roots functions of a root okay what are the functions of root okay so roots hold the plants firmly in the soil roots hold the plants fix in the soil or to fix in the soil firmly firmly what is the meaning of firmly tightly okay Ro uh, roots hold the plants to fix the soil firmly and what is the second function roots absorb absorb water and minerals water and minerals and send to the plant send to the plant so roots absorb water and minerals and send it to the plant and next one some roots uh, for example if you take carrot radish and beetroot these roots have some special function what is the special function this they are modified roots which store food in themselves okay here there are some roots which can that can store that can store food store food 
in itself okay store food and next one last point is roots are called as secret source of the plant roots are called the secret secret source of strength secret source of strength so so what what are the functions of roots hold the plant fix uh, firmly in the soil absorb water and minerals uh, and send to the plant roots can store food and also roots are called as secret source of the strength yes okay next we are, we are going to learn about the shoot system okay we'll go to the next topic that is the shoot system the shoot system okay when we come to the shoot system the parts that grow above the soil okay the parts that grow above the soil comes under this shoot system okay the st so what are the parts uh, in the shoot system we we'll let's see here once again okay so as we already just seen this is the part which is above the soil so what are the parts which come under this shoot system this is stem okay stem okay and next one branches branches then leaves leaves another one fruits fruits and one more is flowers flowers so these all are the parts which are seen above the soil these all parts come under this shoot system so these all come uh, shoot system comprises of these all parts these all parts okay now different plants have different sizes of stems okay and some plants have strong stem and some plants have weak stem uh, and uh, the plants which have strong stem strong stems the plants which have strong stems can stand erect stand erect and the plants which have weak stems weak weak stems the plants which have weak stems that they, they can't stand erect erect means straight so what can happen for uh, to this weak stems they fall down or they need some support weak stems need some support okay they need some support okay okay and uh, next we are going to learn uh, or discuss a topic about the functions of a stem okay functions of a stem you have already learned about stem okay so in a climbers creepers and some shrubs trees and this all we have learned about weak stems and strong stems right yes now we are going to learn about what are the functions how does the stem help a plant so the stem bears the weight of the plant the stem bears 
the weight the weight of the plant weight of the plant so this stem bears the weight of the plant means what what does it bear it bears leaves branches fruits flowers okay the stem bears all these things okay and uh, next to function so this stem carries the water which is absorbed by the roots and is sent to all the parts of the plant stem carries water and minerals water and minerals from root from root and sent to all parts of the plant okay and we as we discussed as there are some uh, roots means modified roots which store food in them there are also stems which store food so here the stem is modified modified or you can write stems are modified to store food okay the best example here is example is potato potato okay here if you sow a potato in the soil you get leaves from the potato directly isn't it so this is the best example of a modified stem and the last point is yes this the stem carries the food prepared by the leaves to all parts of the plant stem carries the food prepared prepared by the leaves prepared by the leaves to all parts of the plant to all parts of the plant okay so these are the functions of the stem